organized many World Cup in the past, but now after nine years the World Cup is back in Bromo with a triple event, so we are very excited. Oh, it's a great event, uh, the, the track is really great, uh, a lot of stunts and uh, great atmosphere. Back to back World Cups in Canada, it's amazing. World Cup back to Bromo after nine years and hopefully for a next century. It's glorious, just glorious! We had some crazy weather all week. It was awesome, rain and rain and rain. Massive thunderstorms and rain pretty much all for the start of the week. The track's really, really wet. We've been having nasty weather in Quebec all summer long, but uh, for a race it's great. <laughs> it's very spectacular. <laughs> Got most of the track dialed, so hopefully the next couple runs I'll be able to be able to hit all my lines. This year I've just been thinking too much about the points, and uh, I just need to concentrate and trying to get as many wins as I can, and hopefully I can win here today. I was surprised by how much the course was like, how slippery it was. So I'm pretty pretty happy with my run, all things considered. We have people coming from everywhere. The crowd here is out of control. Yeah! It was rad, like all the way down, people lining it and uh, just like cheering and screaming and shouting and I was like, yeah! For the park cross, of course, Phil Saxena was with us and he built a awesome course. The idea is to make it really rough, really like downhill mountain biking, but also really good for overtaking. This track's pretty special because it's long and like, the course builder Phil had a lot of dirt so he could build like his track how he wanted. It's really amazing the work they did, it's uh, unbelievable, a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of money. The forecross is super tough, like it's such a long track, super tough just to link it all together and hold your momentum. It's completely bonkers the forecross, it's crazy! We're here half an hour into forecross practice, qualifying went okay, I feel pretty confident so we'll just see how it goes. Country is cool because it's just you against the course basically. For the cross country, we try to do something difficult, but not too much technical just before the Olympics. It's uh, nice and humid and hot and muddy and uh, yeah, really tough course. So uh, I think we're in for a hard day, but it should be fun. It's gonna be wet and muddy and lots of fun. It was a crazy race today with uh, extreme conditions. I won last week and this week, so I'm really happy. It was so mucky out there. It was all about just like trusting your bike and going with it. Yeah. 